Jared Poland Frono's Photo Low Battery .com. Welcome to the photo of the month for what are we in October? Where it was hit me with your best shot, basically. Give me your best shot. You guys got to select any photo that you've taken at any point, just one of them, and post it. I went ahead and narrowed down the 63 pages of images to about 34 shots. And in this video, you're gonna see the 34 that I picked. And if you are on YouTube, the only way you're gonna see who made it to the top five, 10, 20, however many make it to the top vote, uh, you're gonna have to click on the screen right now in that box that says click over here to go vote. Uh, or if you're, you can click down below in the description. As always, it's there in the description. So, I got a ton of images, really like what you guys sent in, and I thought the best thing would be to do a Critiquey McCritiquerson of the 34 shots, and then I will go and select the top however many and go from there. Don't forget, if you haven't seen the Phronos Photo Beginner Flash Guide, preview is now up. Just click this box. It says, psst, the Phronos Photo Flash Guide is here. Learn more. All right, here we go. Let's go through these images and see what we come up with. I don't want to go... All right, let's do this. Okay, so this first shot, I mean, that's great. I love the tones of what's going on. I love how it's set up. The the evenness from left to right and top to bottom is great. I love the look on the kid's face. It is just what makes this shot. If the, if the kid didn't have a great look on his face, then it would not make an image like this. It's like, I got some hair. Yeah, yeah, hair. Ooh, ooh, see? And I like the color in here. Maybe I would like to see more contrast. I'm not sure. It's not my file, but this is what this person thought their best shot would be. It says, Backalicious. Backalicious. But anyway, I like the feel of the image. The girl walking into the water, the boat set off to the, the side, the nice blues all the way to the pinks and purples. Really nice transition and flow. We'll see if that makes it into it as well. Then we have this floating image right here. The image is sideways on the wall, a little cockeyed, a little Dutch angled. Uh, the colors are great. The lighting is really cool. I'm not sure I feel the image totally. I thought it meant, I thought it was worthy of being here for all of the work that went into it. I'm not sure if I'm selecting for the top list yet, but definitely wanted to show it in the honorable mention slash critique McCritishersons in portion. I wish she was wearing an I shoot raw wristband. So this girl is looking like that Ozzy Osbourne daughter, whatever her name is. I forget Ozzy Osbourne's daughter's name. The background is spectacularly blown out here. A little bit tight where the hands are um, in terms of closeness to the side, but I love the eyes. They're piercing. Uh, so I like the colors in the background, but it draws you in. Her, her, her makeup is done so well. It's not overdone, which is nice. The eyes look great. The gray, the hair, the silver hair is pretty interesting, and it's a cool look. She just has that natural look, and yes, your model does make an image a lot of the times. So really nice image here. like what's going on. Again, the model makes this image. We've got this scarf that she's holding up. The eyes are beautiful. This is pulled back from DJ Dark. Uh, it's pulled back on the processing and contrast, but it looks really, really sweet. Like how the tree in the background, though coming out of the top of her head, is not distracting because of the way that it's uh, blown out. So it's interesting. We'll see what happens if this makes it. Cute kid just sitting there. Of course, kid shots are cute. Um, something I would consider either touching up and getting rid of this on the ball or rotating the ball. Now, I know the kid's probably playing with the ball and rotating around so you don't have the ability to, to really keep it to where you want it, but the smile on the kid's face is what makes this image. I'm about to yawn again. Put him up. Put him up, I tell ya. Put him up. Three dogs. I mean... What is this all about? We've got, looks like one male and two female dogs. Um, is it a, compo a composite? Possibly. The shadows are overlapping, though, so I'm not sure. We'll have to see. But I just thought, this is just so strange and so out there that maybe it works. I don't know that you could get all three dogs to do this at the same time. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I think it could probably be a composite. But I think it's strong, and, I, and this may make it to the vote. 
The car, I thought this was a great car shot. It flows really well. I could see this as an advertisement. I would like the background to be blown out just a little bit more, in my opinion. Love the colors, love the tones that's going on. Just a little bit up here, you know, they, they touched down the sky because it was probably blown out. So it's kind of distracting, but I'd like to see the background more blown out. But I love the car and the motion. You get that feel of motion in the ocean. I love shots from fairs like this. So this is a cool shot from the side. But what makes these shots even better are around the back when you shoot wide angle and you get the whole trailer thing in there with the whole race and the, the people sitting there and the cars going on. Let me see if that was my neighbor asking me why I'm barking. Let me guess. Nope, not my neighbor. It was Steven. Steven just texted me. Uh, he'll be over tomorrow for filming. Um, so this is... I like it. I like the tones. I like the colors. I like the emotion that's captured, but I would like it to go around the back more to see that wide shot. I know it's hard, but those shots are great from fairs. This was just fascinating that this big bass is going to eat this frog. Is this a bass? I don't know anything about fishing. And my question is, does this frog hop around in that stomach until something like the acid absorbs it or something like that? Like, is he, is he hopping around? But the frog's like, I'm a frog. I'm going about my business. I'm going to have a swim. Swim, 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 swim. Snarf! And then it gets eaten. Just a cool shot. I think it's a great capture. Mm, what are you looking at? Eat more chicken. I'm eating grass. Um, I like the cow shot. It's like, cool. And I like the background being really deep. It's just really cool how you see the cloud. I actually like the cloud right where it's at. Nice light on the moo moo. Nice, it's like smiling. Hello! That's a big heifer. Uh, anyway, nice cow shot. I liked it. Moving on. Cute. I'm not sure what's with the crop, though. Look at all the, the reflecting colors in the water. That's pretty cool. But I'm not sure about this crop. I don't understand it. I mean, actually, I do. I get it. It looks good here because of the top and the bottom may not be necessary, but... It's, it's interesting. All right, I take it back. It's not that bad. I can live with it. Especially with the fact that the background's blown out. Um, not sure that it will make it, but wanted to show it off. Beautiful color, beautiful sky, just smooth and soft. It just it just feels good. It's kind of like when I'm touching my, my, my chest. It just, it just feels good in my hands. You know, the chesticles and all. Ooh, some criticisms. Just watch the buildings over here where they're being cut. But other than that, I like this shot. This may make it. I debated putting this in the critique, but I, I am, I am, it's like the Hudsucker proxy. It's not that bad, but it's a square that throws me off a little bit. And the angle, you know, it's a Dutchie McDutcherson, and, and, and the Dutchie McDutchersons I personally don't like. That doesn't mean that you don't have to like them. I personally don't like them. So I, I, just, I just called it out for that. It's just awkward to me. Squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't screamed squirrel in a while. I probably scared everybody. But you should have heard what was going on downstairs last night. Woo! What a show. That was pretty amazing. You wish you wish you were here. Uh, anyway, I like the shot. I wonder if black and white would be stronger. I do like the color that's muted, but I'd, I'd be very interested to see this in black and white and how it would work out. Don't forget that at any point you can click on the screen right now. It's going to take you over to the site so you can see which photos are up for the vote. But I wanted to show you every one of them before we decide which are going to be the top however many. I like this. Maybe Ballerina off to one side a little bit more. But I like the, the, the smoke, the, unless that's cold or whatever it is. But she's on her toes. Love the feel. It's just broken down. You can't tell who she is. Uh, and it's cool, so it feels all right. Like the black and white. Like this. Are these more cows? I think more cows. More cows. I live for the cows, the cows, the cows. That's Lady Gaga's next song. Because um, her new song is so bad. I said that, little monsters. It's terrible. Uh, whatever. Uh, anyway, I like the cows. I like the feel of the mist in the morning or whenever it is. It's nice. Uh, the feel of it's good. Works well. Moving on. So this one may not look so great here, but I believe it was 31 or 41 photos stitched together by a photographer shot uh, at the Phillies game. He took it all with a D3200, I believe, with the with a 3518, and then stitched it all together. Just really nice job doing that. I wanted to point it out. It's I, it's not going to make it into the top one, I don't think, but but I, I I just like the fact that he did this, stitched all these images together and made it work. Really nice job. Very creative. Scream! I actually like this photo of the squirrel. I think it came up once before uh, sometime, but this is actually a great image. The fact that the squirrel's just sitting there going, Somebody, can we please look at me? Oh no, I can't get over this app. 
Please don't bunny hop me over the step. I'm a squirrel. I like this picture. What else can I say? And then this one, I picked it because I get to talk like sheep. It's like, what's this guy doing? It's going to be like, oh, it's going to be like, I'm going to share you next with this steel thing. What do they call this thing? A chainsaw. And then the, the sheep. Anyway, moving on. You guys are getting tired. I like the feel. I love the up looks. It just makes you feel like you're laying on the ground out there looking up and the, the sky is clear almost from clouds, but it's so crisp and clean feeling. It may not be, but it looks good and it feels good to me. More cows talking to each other. Get off my grass. Did my grass. No, you are on my grass. I licked it, so I'm going to eat it. You got to lick it and then you eat it. And then you get off my grass. So I I critique for this one is we got to get away from this, this uh, over softening of children's skin. Don't do it. It doesn't, it doesn't work out. And Pam, Allah, Pamela, I'm not yelling at you. I just yelling at anybody that shows this technique as a thing to do. Pulling back on the clarity and softening it up does not help. The children, you know, I believe that children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Uh, promise them all the beauty that they, that they have inside. So don't worry about pulling it. Just, this is just that. This is cool. I love it, man. It's so ominous, but not ominous. What a terrible statement that was, Jared. But I just like the feel of this. Maybe, just maybe, one corrective criticism that I have here is get the bottom of these two trees to show up. If the bottom of those two trees show up, it may give me more of a feel of the pathway leading away because I get the bottom of the tree. I don't know. That's just something that I felt right there. Hey, what's going on? Hey, like, like your hair. It's a nice shirt, too. Um, so I like the, the scene, the light coming in from the background. I'm usually not a big fan of that but I like the way that it feels. Don't know if I like how she's sitting, but I, I, the image looks good for your best shot. I like the colors, the tones, it's soft and nice. And you didn't pull back on the softness to soften her skin up. She still looks like whoever she still looks like. Ooh, yeah. Hello. Hey now. You know, dropping the, dropping the rose petals. Yeah, this is art. I'm looking at her eyes. And then you get led down the out of focus. I watched this. Mark Wallace talked about this the other day. You shoot down the subject, not up the subject. Because then you're up their skirt and you don't want to be that guy. But it's cool. I'd like to see more rose petals falling. Possibly even the straight up over the top. Uh, uh, what's that movie? Uh, American Beauty style looking straight down. But I do like the feel of this. The angles are cool. I don't mind that her arms cut off because you have her eyes and her boobs and the flowers in her hair. Yes! I love this. What kind of car? A Zephyr? So I don't... Is that a, a Zephyr? I don't even know what a Zephyr is. Zephyr, they make hats. I looked this up one time. Zephyr was a hat company, but they also were a car company. The feel of the leading lines. The light on this person's face. The flowers. The way that it leads you through the image is what it's all about. I love the feel of this. This is spectacular. I really, really, really like this photo. Nice job. More with the trees going straight up. Love the feel of this stuff. Look, okay, so criticism on this, you know a lot of Phil Light, not, a, not Phil Light, but a lot of, uh, this is, so this is Chicago? Is that Chicago because of, because of this? I, first off, it's great that you're up on the stage and you got to be in front of all of these 40, 50, 60,000 people, probably about 30,000 people, but the, I'd go to black and white before I would play with all of this, uh, what's that other, what's that other slider called? Uh, 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 where you, highlights. I would play with all of that before I start bringing those back because I want to see more contrast on this guy. It looks like you, you played around too much with him and he's just fading off into the oblivion. Golf shot. I like the feel of the walking into it. You're feeling it in the green. You got the, 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 the again, the crop, but you got this, the, every, I'm losing it. So we have a tiger, right? I'm a tiger. Gay. Don't I want to see the tiger's color? Like, aren't they orangey McOrangerson or something? Isn't it like Tony the Tiger? And he's like, they're great. They're great. They're great. Frosted Flakes. Healthy, balanced meal. I know it's going on for a while. I hope people are still listening. But I, I, I want to see the color of this thing. It's a tiger. Where are your colors? Love the flow of this. Look at the, just the nice softness 
of the, the wispy waves going around the rock. Feels good. You'd print this out on metal. It would look fantastic. Ah! Look at the size of the paws of this dog. It's like my balls are huge, but so cute with the other doggy McDoggerson. Very nice color and kind <laughs> Back to the beginning. Anyway, guys, long talk, but I wanted to showcase all of these. The winner's going to win something. Click on the screen up in the corner where it tells you to the top right corner. You can go vote. Uh, you will get to see which images did make the final countdown. The final countdown! Oh, yeah! I just want my neighbors to hear me. And then they think I'm weird or something. But maybe they don't. Uh, but anyway, that's it, guys. That is the, uh, the best shot that you guys have put in. Those are 36 images. I'm going to go ahead and slim it down from there or trim it down from there and select the images for you guys to vote on. Click in the description below or go down below to vote if you're on the website. And there you have it. Don't forget about the Frono's Photo Flash Guide. You can pick that up today as a DVD or a digital instant download. And uh, that is it. Jared Poland, Frono's Photo.com. See ya!